What's up traders? Happy Friday. Hope you guys had a good trading day. I uh, just wanted to make a quick little video for you guys. It is Friday, December 11th, and it is contract rollover day. What that means is that the futures contracts, uh, ES, NQ, for instance, are rolling over to the next or the front month with the most volume. Now, I get a lot of questions in our Discord community, on our Facebook group, about when to know or how to know, rather, uh, when it's time to roll over. And the quickest way that I've found out is to use Market Analyzer in NinjaTrader. So in order to do this, we want to go to New, and then we want to go to Market Analyzer. And I have uh, a, a preset template. So I'm going to go ahead and just load this template so you guys can see what it looks like. And I'll actually, uh, I'll somehow try to post a link to this template so you guys can can get this already set up uh, in the description down below. Um, but what you'll see here is I have a, a live updating market analyzer. So you see I have quotes for ES and Q, Russell, Apple, Amazon, etc. And how I tell when it's time to roll over is I look at the, the contract. This is the contract we've been trading on, the December 2020 contract. And this is the new contract, the March 2021 contract. Now we know today is time to roll over because the March 2021 contract now has more volume than the December contract. So just to give you an idea, if you guys are doing this uh, from a blank or a clean slate, if you will, again, you want to go to new market analyzer and you get this window and then you'll, you can just right click and go to add instrument and you can add ES. You can add the March contract. You can also go and you can add the December contract. And if you don't have these, when you right click and click add instruments, you can, just to give you guys an idea, you can type it in. So you can go ES 1220, boom, there you go. That's the December contract. And then you can go ES March 21, and there is the March contract. Now, uh, you guys probably won't have these columns automatically. So in order to add the daily volume column, you're gonna to wanna to right click on the market analyzer, you're gonna to go to columns, and then you can see you have all of these different options here of information that you can add to the analyzer. So I'll just remove all of these, other than the instrument, can't remove the instrument. Uh, then we'll go over to daily volume, and I'll click apply just so you can see that all we have is the instrument now. We have no other columns. Right click, columns, go to daily volume, Add that bad boy right there. And then boom, you got your daily volume and you can quickly see you know, which contract is uh, dominant volume wise and therefore you can determine what time uh, or when it's time to roll over. So um, just to give you guys an example, if we go ahead and add NQ, last time I checked, uh, NQ actually hadn't rolled yet. So yeah, you can see that the March uh, 2021 contract on NQ is actually uh, still lower volume than uh, the December 2020 contract. So I would say wait till Monday if you guys are trading NQ. Obviously, it's it's later in the day. So Monday is probably going to be rollover day, and that's when that uh, flip in volume will happen. So just a quick video for you guys to uh, keep a closer eye on the daily volume and when to know uh, most immediately when it's time to roll your contracts over. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Keep an eye out in the description there. Uh, I'm going to try and post a link so you guys can download my template to uh, my market analyzer. And I will have uh, little instructions on, on how to or what file path to, to place that in as well. Have a good Friday. Have a great weekend. And I will see you guys later for a daily recap. And I will see you Sunday for the weekly forecast. Trade safe.